Yeah, yeah no, listen, I'm here, everybody, for a moment. You are. Because I know the only thing that anybody cares about is this stupid mustache story. You want me to tell you the story? Yeah, I want a mustache First off, question. If you're wondering whatever. what everything looked like, this is it, okay? Wait, no, there's no, no. way. There's no, no way it looked like that. Listen, okay. I uh, I got home yesterday, and I was only home for a couple of minutes. And you guys know every time I go on a trip, something nutty happens. So I get home, and I, I get a text, and the text is, he's back, LOL. And it's like, this could only be one person. And so I said, you're talking about Vince? And uh, at first, this, this is how the story evolved, okay? At first, I was told, yeah, he was, he was snuck into the building, okay? That's what I was originally told. So I was like, I got to find out what's going on here. So I started, I started messaging people, uh, like, is, is, uh, is Vince there? And it was, it was literally, I mean, you know, before anything else, I started getting messages, dude, he's got a mustache. That was like the only thing everyone was telling me was he had a mustache, I was like, what? Because I don't know if you guys know this or not, but uh, you know how Vince hates being called Junior? You know what else he hates? Facial hair. Okay? So then it was described, you ever seen, you ever seen uh, uh, Gomez Adams from the Adams Family? That's what his mustache looked like. I was like, what? And so, you know, I started asking, like, and, uh, and so then later, you know, I... I uh, I needed to know more. I'm like, all people want to hear about is this mustache. You know, what did it look like? And then I was told it was a jet black, like, pencil mustache. And he also had jet black hair. (laughs) I was like, what? So then, then I got thinking. Then I got thinking. So I know some people were like, ah, you know, this is a nothing story. He was there. Who cares? Blah, blah, blah. Dude, this was the first time this guy has been at Raw. Since he was ousted, okay? The first time. So, you know, then I thought back to, you know, him being snuck in the first story I heard. And then I started thinking, like, you know, maybe this guy was just messing around. Like, you know, maybe maybe he drew on a mustache and he snuck in and he was just, like, working everybody. So then I had to get specifics. Like, are you sure that this was a real mustache and he didn't just paint it on with some eyeliner or something? And then, you know, there were people that you know, were around him all night and they were like, no, it was real. It was a real mustache, and he dyed his hair jet black. So that's the story. Knock, knock, who's there? Ric Flair. Ric Flair who? No, Ric Flair who? (laughs) I didn't get that one. (laughs) (laughs) Knock, knock, who's there? (laughs) Bailey. Bailey who? We Bailey... Made it home in time to watch SmackDown. That's Live. not how not, not jokes work. <laughs> we barely. What does that mean? She's small. It's <laughs> we barely made it home. Oh, we barely. <laughs> <laughs> wow, your Invisalign made you dumb. <laughs> Why did the referee referee's feet smell when he was working? Because he was a dude doodle. <laughs> what? <laughs> because he was a doodle. His feet smelled because he was a doodle. Yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> what? See, these, these, these are so dumb that they're funny. Am I high? I don't. I, I drove here. I think I was sober when I got here. If you enjoy these videos, for just seven dollars and ninety-nine cents per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.